I have had some viewers of the channel ask me my thoughts on organizations like GitHub uh, trying to remove the word master and or slave from being mentioned on their particular sites, within their uh, projects, within their software. And it's not just GitHub. Other projects are doing this as well. I think ZSH is trying to do this, Redis, Python. There's dozens of especially open source projects that are now trying to remove all mention of the word master and slave from their particular software projects. And people are asking me what my thoughts are on this. And it's a little strange when people ask me this because those of you that have watched my channel for a while, I've mentioned this many times. I don't have a TV. I don't watch TV. I refuse to watch TV. I'm not on social media. So I am completely disconnected from politics. U.S. politics. I know nothing about political stuff here in the U.S. I don't know who the hot new politicians are that are on the TV every day. I know who the president of the United States is. I know who the governor of my state is, and that's about it. I couldn't tell you who my congressman is. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you who my senators are. I couldn't tell you any of that stuff because I'm again disconnected from that I've disconnected myself from that and quite frankly I'm just not interested in politics at all I don't play that game I don't want to play that game and the reason I don't play that game is it's always a us versus them kind of mentality you know left versus right you know, Republican versus Democrat white versus black straight versus gay yeah they are always you got to pit one group of people against another group of people you got to you pick the uh, citizens versus the, the illegal aliens. So you always got to find two groups of people and pit them against each other. And that's that's the whole point of politics. And I think that's kind of lame. And people asking me my opinion on the removal of the terms master and slave from GitHub and from various open source projects out there. This kind of proves what politics does, because as somebody completely disconnected from this kind of stuff, if a project wants to remove the term master and or slave from their software, okay, it's their choice, especially if it's open source software. The open source project wants to rename every mention of master as far as a master branch or a master drive or a master file system or whatever. We're going to change master to the word main. Okay, that's their choice. I mean, uh, what does it matter? Regardless of where you are on the political spectrum, these organizations changing the word master to main and the word slave to dependent or secondary or whatever it is they want to change it to. At the end of the day, again, no matter where on the political spectrum you are, this change means nothing. It, it, these are meaningless changes. GitHub changing master branch to main branch. It's not a slight in any way to any one group of people. And also, to be honest, GitHub is not really promoting the cause that they're saying they're promoting. As far as they're not really making a difference. If they're really wanting to fight for minority rights and the underprivileged and trying to make a safe workspace for the black community and for other minority groups, especially trying to bring minority groups into open source software, that's really your goal. Changing the name of master branch to main branch in Git repositories, it does zero to do that. So I, I don't think it, it, it makes a difference. I think this is more for publicity. People are in an uproar because of all the police uh, brutality and things here in the U.S. There is a lot of racial tension. And right now, you know, some of these companies are just trying to make good press. They're like, hey, I know a lot of black people and a lot of minority groups are angry right now. And we just want you guys to know that we here at GitHub, we stand with you. We stand with you. And to prove it, we're changing master branch to main branch. And obviously, that absolutely does nothing to further the cause of you know, minorities and the underprivileged as far as bringing these people into the fold, as far as open source and technology. It does nothing but it's just good PR for GitHub is all that is. The fact that some people are angered by the change that some of these projects are doing, I don't get because it's not like 
removing all mentions of the word master and slave and changing it to main and secondary or whatever else you want to change it to. It's not like that's taking a lot of time and resources for these organizations to do this. These are simple changes. It's not like there's other things they could be working on and they're spending all this time changing the word master to main. No, it's a very simple change. Again, I don't think it's a negative in any way. I also don't think it's a positive in any way, in a lot of ways, this is kind of a non-story, and it's something I, I really had no plans to comment on, but uh, so many other people are commenting on it as far as Linux news and tech news, and I'm, I'm getting viewers asking me my thoughts on this. My thoughts are, if you're not actually wrapped up in watching CNN and Fox News all day long and living in Facebook and, and Twitter and you're wrapped up in all that toxic hate... <laughs> on stuff like that. If if you are disconnected from that the way I am, this story is, is not really a story. The one thing I would like to say is these organizations that are taking the time, you know, even though it's not a lot of time, they're taking the time to change master and slave to these other terms. Don't just be so disingenuous to think that you're actually making a difference doing that. If you're really wanting to do something that promotes inclusion, especially inclusion in the workplace and in open source projects, then you guys really need to think about doing something, something for real, because this, this isn't something that's going to make a difference. I think, I think the people that hit these organizations know that they're hoping though, that maybe no one will notice. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few people. I need to thank Michael, Gabe, Haplo, Nate, Corbinian, Mitchell, Entropy, UK, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Omri, Paul, Sean, Tobias, and Willie. They're the producers of the show. These guys are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen. This is all my supporters over on Patreon because this show is sponsored by you guys, the community. If you'd like to support my work, You'll find DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.